The first type of machine that we'll be going over is the incline, which I think is a very simple one that can help illustrate how machines operate. Remember that once again with machines, we're trying to get the same amount of work, but we're going to trade force for distance. And by doing that, we confer a mechanical advantage on the person who's trying to accomplish the work. So here's an example of an incline where you have a 10 kilogram object that you're trying to lift up one meter. You can do it just with brute force by fighting all of the gravitational force. So you have a 10 kilogram object and uh, that means uh, approximately 100 newtons of gravitational force. So you're using 100 newtons times uh, one meter to accomplish that 100 joules of work. However, by using a ramp that has a distance of four meters, you can reduce the amount of force necessary but still accomplish the exact same work. You have this object that is getting to the same final position. And that's the whole point of a machine like an incline. And uh, one thing that you can realize is just because there's a one to four ratio of the distances that you're moving the object uh, according to this path versus using the machine, that gives you a four to one mechanical advantage. It reduces the amount of force necessary by a four to one ratio. So rather than doing a hundred newton force trying to lift it that one meter, instead you're using some unknown force lifting it four meters and uh, still accomplishing the same 100 joules of work. So that means that you'll be applying a force to lift this ball up the ramp of 25 newtons and it makes it much easier on the person who's performing the work if rather than lifting with 100 newton force, instead you're pushing with a 25 newton force. So whenever you're trying to figure out how much of a mechanical advantage a machine is giving you or uh, how much less force you have to use, you can look at the ratio of distances in order to figure that out. Another example of that is if you don't know how long a ramp is, but they tell you that you'll be using maybe a quarter or a fifth or one smaller amount of the brute force that you would be using if you were lifting the object directly, that can help you figure out what the ratio of distances is. So the ratio of distances, one to four, is inversely proportional to the ratio of forces, which is 25 to 100 in this example. Or if this was a heavier object, it would still be a four to one ratio there. And so if you understand how an incline works, this really helps underscore why all machines operate according to these same principles. Work equals force times distance, and by increasing the distance, you can decrease the force and thus make it easier to perform certain actions.